He, I think course form is quite important. Workbench is the favourite for Dan Skelton. He's been running better quality races than this. But Richard, do you think court for, course form is an advantage around here? It definitely is around Musselburgh. It's a sharp track. Um, you need something with a bit of speed. Tiptoe away has been well back today. Good prize money here. This has a bigger first prize than the Dipper Chase, which is noteworthy. Ryan Hatch has been stood down for the rest of the day. He had a fall from Little John. He won't be able to take the ride on Splash of Ginge. Gathering down at the start for what looks a wide open handicap. Horse on the left, Shadrach, is likely to be right on the speed. He's bang consistent and he jumps well. Rishi, what's the news? Well, the news is here that it's now soft all round. This rain that has been falling since, uh, well, certainly since I arrived this morning up in Scotland, is continuing and it's uh, been relentless all day long. So just a, a news that Smart Ruler is out of the Hogmanay hurdle. I think that's ground related, but now soft all round. Perhaps one or two horses that came here hoping for good conditions, the likes of Viva Colonia, who's won on better ground, runner-up in the race last year. Connections will now be a little bit disappointed to see the ground changing. Uh, spoke to Lucinda Russell. Did Day seven and they're away. Gareth Topham's going to call it. Uh, racing for the Tote Quad Pot Scottish Premier Handicap Chase. The first of today's features. Two and a half miles and 16 fences ahead of them. Shadrach, the grey, is the first one to show to an advantage. Comes up over the first fence well. They're all landing safely with on the outside swing hard as they now tackle the second with down in third witnessing court witnessing court has uh, taken a crashing fall at the second fence the horse galloping away riderless as they now come to the third this is the first of the open ditches in the race and uh, the rest of the runners are safely out over that and on they come now towards uh, the fourth good also to see uh, wilson rennick walking away from that tumble up ahead shadrach is over safely and is granted an easy lead here from in second place on the outside, Swinghart, who was a winner on this card 12 months ago. And then Keita de Trezor, who is following these. That one is down along the inside in advance of Tiptoe Away, the white sleeves and cap up in between runners. Then towards the inside is Viva Colonia. Why but why is circumnavigating as they make the journey back towards the home straight workbench is well back in the field in company with Viva Colonia as they head on in and the back marker is uh, reaping the reward into the home straight they come for the first time there are four fences standing in their way up here plain open ditch plain plain and it is uh, Shadrach this 11 year old model of consistency comes towards this fence now it's almost joined on the outside by swing hard in the blue and yellow colors with Keita de Trezor, his uh, third attempt at winning this race, not too far behind with the white cap as they now tackle another of the open ditches. In behind runners then is uh, Tiptoe Away with Away to the Extreme right in the red and blue colours, Why But Why, slight colour alteration as to what was in the morning papers as they tackle another. Viva Colonia, last year's runner-up, the red and white hoop jacket towards the inside of the market leader workbench in the red, white and green and the green and yellow of reaping the reward who's the back marker all tackling the fence in front of us well field being chased by the loose uh, witness in court field being led by shadrach under james reevely three lengths ahead with a circuit left keita de trezor along the inside of tip toe away without a little bit wider swing hard then uh, chases viva colonia workbench without a bit wider why but why reaping the reward the back marker of a tightly knit group here which now close in a little on Shadrach as a sensible tape a tempo but an honest enough when they make the journey on out towards the side of the race course for the final time they've passed halfway now in this tote quad pot Scottish premier chase and they have eight more fences left to take four on each stretch of the course up ahead Shadrach to swing hard on the outside Shadrach by a length to swing hard Keita de Trezor all over it safely enough as they now make the journey on to the second one going down here Shadrach over it just ahead there to swing hard with along the inside Keita de Trezor and then follows Tiptoe away who's traveling nicely in mid-division with Why But Why on the outside also moving sweetly under Kit Alexander as they tackle the penultimate open ditch in the race Viva Colonia has been given a quiet ride, as is usually the case, though. That one towards the inside under double-seeking Richie McLernan at the back end of the field. Workbench also well down, reaping the reward remains at the tail as they tackle the final fence going down the back straight, and they're all over it safely enough. 
and they now have three quarters of a mile left to travel and four more fences left to take in the home straight. Swing Hard has now come off the bridle and begins to drop back through the field. It is Shadrach, though, who's been in front from Flagfall. Leads up by a length and a half as they make the journey back for home. Tiptoe away around the outside of Quito de Trezor are in second and third. Then follows Why But Why from Workbench, who's beginning to bear down with the green sleeves. Viva Colonia last year's runner up to the inside, then reaping the reward and forget about Swing Hard. They're homeward bound. They four more left to take and under a half mile to go. Is Shadrach a sitting target? Quito de Trezor is in second, two lengths of drift running a big one. Viva Colonia to the inside side of tiptoe away reaping the reward is closing up as they tackle the first in the straight and workbench is away to the extreme right beginning to come with its effort and they've now cleared away from why but why three to jump shadrach over it by two lengths there to keto de trezor another two or three lengths away to tiptoe away then chase is reaping the reward from workbench who has work to do and viva colonia's runners flattened out two out keto de trezor join shadrach there keto de trezor moves on into a narrow lead will persistence in this race pay off for keto de trezor shadrach to the inside, a few lengths away to reaping the reward who's staying on. They're over the final fence, tipped her away, landed in fourth, but it is Keita de Trezor who came away from the fence with a, about a two-length lead over Shadrach and down the outside, reaping the reward who's staying on all the way to the line, reaping the reward, pressing Keita de Trezor late, and it went to the judge between them. Very close, Keita de Trezor was joined on the line by reaping the reward, who finished with a rattle. They're being followed through by Shadrach in third, and in behind those workbench and tipped her away. It goes to the judge.